All right, so this is exactly why I need these rings. So if you closely look, look at that wiggle I have. So that's about three millimeters. So that's exactly why I almost lost my center caps up front. So I'm hoping these hub centric rings work and do the trick. So let's get these things installed. But what I'm gonna try to do is put them on the wheels first. Ooh, it's close. I think they'll squeeze on though. Let's see if they'll fit on the hubs. So we're kind of having an issue putting them into the wheels, but I think that's kind of a good thing. Um, but if you look, they slide right over the hubs, spacers and all. So hubs slide on just right. So these are 57.1. Um, these are 60.1. So I'm hoping we can get them into these wheels, but they do slide over the hubs perfect. So I feel like if I give these a couple of love taps, it might squeeze into the wheel. They, they wanna go, but it's super tight. So I'm gonna try to slowly tap around the wheel and hopefully get this thing to squeeze in. All right, well, unfortunately, the hub rings are like one millimeter too big for the wheels. So it's either I put them in the freezer, hopefully it shrinks them down enough to squeeze into the wheels, or we're gonna have to just sand the hubs on the wheels just a hair. Um, so yeah, I'm uh, taking a pause on that. And uh, I'm gonna do an oil change on the daily. So after even putting them in the freezer, they do not want to fit. It's literally like a hair. So my only other option is to just take the grinding wheel and uh, make one slit in it. And then that'll be enough to give it some, uh, give it some squeeze. So it'll squeeze into the rim. That's my only other option. All right, so now that we have our cut ring, it'll pinch together like that. So in all reality, boom. All right, so I'm a retard. So this is the exact size of the hub. Obviously, if we squeeze it together, we're uh, downsizing the hub bore size by just a hair. So of course, once this is squeezed into the wheel, now it's too small to fit onto the hub. 
So in all reality, these are 57 to 60s. So I pretty much need a 57 to 59, which I don't even know if they make. So that's where I'm at. So we're back to square one, waste of time. I'm gonna return these even though I cut one, um, hoping Amazon returns it. And I'm gonna try to source me 57 to 59s. I can't win with these freaking wheels, man. All right, so I've been uh, having some noises going on up front. So I figured I'd shake my wheel and see. And of course, I have bad news. Let's see if you guys can see this. So here's side to side. I hear a little something but here's up and down. Definitely wheel bearing. Yay. I just did wheel bearings on this car like 2000 miles ago. That's freaking aggravating. Super aggravating. All right, so it isn't wheel bearing. Confirmed that wheel bearing is good. Uh, I just had my fiance shake my wheel and I looked underneath and come to find out, lock collar is loose. So the bag is spinning. Sure we, I can't really get it to spin. But the bag is spinning. So the threads are spinning in the sleeve. And um, this wiggles the sleeve obviously has play in the thread so yeah so all my noise up front was my lock collar was not locked so everything was moving up here today's not my day hmm. just trying to torque my wheels peacefully and this piece of shit wants to break all right so just to follow up on what code or what check engine light popped up we're gonna find out a few moments later all right, so now that we're connected, we're gonna hit read codes. And it says one ECU fault code stored, unable to decode ECU fault codes. Well, that's odd. So that's a weird one. So I'm gonna send that to my tuner and let him know that's what it says, but uh, yeah. That's where we stand, I guess. All right, guys. So it is currently the following weekend from my last test fit of the Hubcentric rings. So since then, I returned the bigger ones that I cut. Yeah. Still got my refund, though. So even after cutting them, I still got my entire refund back. So um, that's cool. So uh, based on guessing... I just went down one millimeter. So the other ones were 57 to 60s. And these ones that I got are 57 to 59. So they're literally two millimeter. So I'm hoping this is all I need. Um, if it does not work, then I have zero clues. So I'm gonna test fit it on the rear wheel and hope for the best. so small it does fit though it's got the slightest bit of play but I feel like once it goes on the hub I think it'll be all right but it does fit unlike the 57 to 50 or 57 to 60s they did not fit so all right 
to be honest, I might even get away with uh, putting a little bit of like electric tape on here, which I might do just to help squeeze that. But yeah, these do fit. All right, so obviously they look the same, but I wrapped some electrical tape around the edge one time and now they fit super snug, like perfect snug. Uh, there is tons of play. No more. At least it's flush. So no more vibrating. Now we just gotta put them on the next, or all the wheels, but yeah. So, these BBSs are 57 to 59, not 57 to 60 like I thought. Alright guys, so we officially have hub-centric rings on these wheels, which means I can go faster than 50, 60 miles an hour. So I'm pretty hyped about that. Yeah, I had a little minor setback. I ordered the wrong size, but I literally measured by this manual um, measuring thing. So it wasn't that accurate. It looked like 57 to 60, but it really was 57 to 59. Nothing too crazy, it was like a week setback, which it really doesn't hurt my feelings because the tags are about to expire on this car in about one week. And I do not plan on renewing them for the rest of the year. The car is a summer car, so there's no point of even renewing my tags. But yeah, hopefully this video was uh, sort of helpful for you guys. I don't know, it was just something to film. I know it ain't the most entertaining, but I'll figure out to explain to you guys what was going on with the car. Um, you don't want what happened to me to happen to you. On my way to Novo, um, I almost lost, actually I did lose one of my center caps as I was rolling up to a red light. My center cap literally fell off and rolled next to me. So luckily I was at a red light, so I was able to retrieve it. Um, but if I wouldn't, if I would have lost a center cap on the highway or something, that would really would have ruined my day. So you don't want that happening to you like it happened to me, all because of a couple millimeters of gap. Um, so yeah, if your hubs on your wheels are bigger than the hubs on your uh, wheel bearings, definitely get hub centric rings. These things are, I mean, yeah, it's a little piece of plastic, but it'll save vibration. It'll save you from almost losing center caps, if not lug nuts. You don't even want that happening to you. So highly suggest it. Next video is gonna be um, us possibly picking up a car for my fiance. Um, she don't know it's for her. She actually thinks that I'm looking for another car. I wanna actually get a four door because this thing's kind of a hassle for uh, the girls getting in and out. So I'm actually looking for a four door, but little does she know that it's gonna be for her. So um, that's gonna be on the next video. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys stay tuned. I appreciate everybody that's been subscribing to the channel. Everybody that's been commenting on uh, positive stuff about the content and my videos. And um, yeah, I just appreciate it all. Um, I'm pretty much just doing this because I figured I'd document everything I've done to my car. And just so I can look back and be like, man, um, hopefully it's helpful to all you guys out there. If it is like a helpful video, if not, it's just me documenting whatever I do to my car. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching all my videos. Thank you for all the positive comments and I appreciate all the support. So um, yeah, I'll catch you guys next weekend, possibly picking up another car for the wife. So stay tuned.